Hey guys, welcome back to B&B where I'm farming with splash potions. Ah, <laughs> that's so much fun. Let's try that some more. Um, cows seem to be quite hard. Uh, already on this lot, I've thrown um, some splash potions of Harming Mark II. Uh, this is now three regular splash potions, and they're just they're just still alive. I don't I don't know what's up with that. Why why they're still doing this? They're like I thought I would kill a whole load of them. Um, but there we go, uh, let's drop down and get all the stuff that I was after. Uh, this is all in aid of leather, as I need books for the um, silk touch um, silk touch shears. I can't get through here the cows. Right, there we go, look at, oh, look at that, I was expecting to lose them all. Yeah, so silk touch shears, uh, still not been found. Uh, I don't think I've done quite, uh, quite 100 books yet. Um, where I should, yeah. You know, if I'd done a hundred books, I should be finding at least one Silk Touch book by now, right? Um, I, 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 the internet told me that I had an 11.1 percent chance uh, of, of getting the uh, Silk Touch book, and I've done a lot of lot of books. Um, uh, yeah, if you want sharpness, I've got sharpness books coming out of Wazoo. Uh, I've also got like efficiency and protection books, um, all, all the standards. But this Silk Touch book is just uh, mysteriously elusive. So I'll be going on through that today. I don't think I'm going to do that on video because it, it, it's... I can see how that would be quite boring. Just watching me go, oh look, killed a load of stuff. Oh no, it's an efficiency book. I like, I yeah, I I don't want to show you guys that, and I'm pretty sure you don't want to watch that. What I do want to show you guys is what I'm going to be doing to the spider spawner. So uh, obviously, with the way I've been throwing these uh, uh, potions of harming around, you can um, assume quite safely that I'm doing quite well for spiders' eyes. Uh, the bottleneck now is brown mushrooms, but that that's a completely other build. What I want to do first is kind of tidy up this top area. Like so, this this cobble pillar is what I've been using as my marker as to where my drop hole is. Now that's all good, but it doesn't really scream spider spawner at you, does it? It, it doesn't for me. So um, I have an I have an idea. Um, it's going to start off with uh, red. Red stained glass floating in the art uh, in the sky to represent uh, spider's eyes. You know, you know, like um, on on hard difficulty as this server is, um, <coughs> spiders can spawn in invisible, and all you can see are their eyes, which I think is absolutely amazing. We should probably use that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that there. I also want to put a, a rather shallow black dish all the way around this, and then do some sort of spider web design. Um, just to like reinforce it. So you you come along from from spawn, say, and you have to walk down the 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 web to get down to the middle to then drop in. Um, I've also been working on storage methods. Um, I've got that much. It's not bad. Could do better. Um, and over here, I have all the stuff that I've been collecting together to make stuff work. Like I wanted to put the hoppers down there. Um, I'm also not overly chuffed about the collection system, um, this, this could be a lot better. I'm thinking I'm probably going to move this collection hole to the middle so you can stand here and they'll all collect up under your feet and then you deal with them with a, a lever back here that does pressure, um, not pressure plates, sticky pistons to crush them a bit. Uh, ideally a button which will then count down the timer to give them really low health and then you can throw a splash potion at them um, and then get hopefully get all the uh, spider's eyes which is what it's about down here um, I'm probably also around here somewhere gonna put a small mushroom farm um, but that that's uh, a consideration for later as I say so yeah first off let's um, let's go up to the surface and start clearing off some land um, so I, I have this picture in my head of what I want the upstairs area to look like. I, I really don't know whether I'm going to be able to make it look like that. The, as we all know, you, you get a picture in your head and then you try and make it happen in Minecraft. And you end up with this, funnily enough, horrible blocky version of the idea that you had. Um, the main problem I think I'm going to have is this hill going up this way. So if I... Hmm, kind of clear this area off first. Oh, I love these efficiency five um, tools. They're, they're just 
So I used to play Minecraft in the manner of everything is sacred, yeah. So you'd you'd use um, cobble tools to go and go and get your stuff because you know you, you need to, to to hoard up all your diamonds and stuff, don't you? That's that's not that's not playing Minecraft properly, guys. I hate to spoil this for you. Um, if you're not using Diamond Efficiency Five stuff, you're not doing it right. It takes forever, and you're you're just not enjoying the game properly, or at least. That's the experience I've had. Um, look at that. How could that not be fun? Uh, so if I take these bits of sand and possibly fill in this hole down here, we can get something approaching a, a nice flat flat base. And then we can work on drawing a, drawing a dish. Um, I don't think I'm going to go for a spherical uh, or a hemispherical dish. I'm just going to go for... More like a plate, you know. You know how it's got, you know, just a gentle curve to it. Um, mu much, much more shallow than 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 spherical. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll, I'm gonna get on with a bit of that. Maybe uh, rough in the sort of the, the the size that I want in sand, and then I'll get back to you guys. Or oh, hopefully in less than a couple of minutes' time with this, because ridiculous tools and fast placements all right and this is the kind of size dish that i was on about um so uh let, let, let's uh, put a few more things down i think we can move straight on to the spider's eye now uh and i'll talk about what i want to do for um for design on top i really wanted to have a, a sort of a web feature type thing on the go uh oh yeah harley's down there isn't she um radiating out from the center outwards now looking at the way that i've um gone out um we've got like an odd number here and an even number here so what i think i'm going to do is have six spokes coming off uh in in thus manners uh, i'm not sure how i'm gonna exactly do that though um my original plan was to have white wool just kind of sat on top but at the so that that that's that's horrible i don't want that um hang about I need some dirt to move sideways. Uh ha uh, uh. Trying to remember how a spider's eye goes. Now from this point we go out a bit. Now I can't remember whether the spider has this this next one. I think I think it's here, like this. There's a gap like that and then there's like that. So now if we take this out. Oh, where's my shovel gone? There's my shovel. Got an inventory full of rubbish again. I should really start keeping uh, better tabs on what goes on in there. But yeah, I get everything done, so that that's the main point. So we come out here like this. Now was it two out again? Yeah. So that's the front and side eyes, and now we need to do the bits on top. Now, if I remember c correctly, it came out here till it was in line with this, and then you have mm, one up like this. And I think that's your basic spider's eye pattern. Um, true, uh, like, faithful to the skin. Oh, and I've gone and got myself stuck. Uh, how am I supposed to get over there? Oh, no. Um, so if we put a little bit of dirt there and there. There we go. My, minor issues. <laughs> minor issues. Um, and by that, I don't mean the coal's running out. Lol. I joke and pun. Um, there we go. That is the play. Oh. oh, why can't I just like act right? Why can't my character just do what I want him to do? Okay, I think this taking a little bit of hit hits should actually. Oh no! I don't want to fall all the way down. No. Oh. Uh, so now I'm going to have to climb all the way back up here and try and talk to you about what's going on. Um, so yeah, we, we, hopefully from a from a distance away, this should look exactly like a set of spider's eyes coming at you out of the uh, out of the ether in the way that spider's eyes do. It's not great, is it? It looks a little bit squashed up to me. It does look a little bit squashed up. Uh, I might have to go and do a comparison to a spider skin. I, what I think needs to happen is these need to go up a bit and the glass. But anyway, um, yeah, as I was saying, I was planning to put this wall 
just kind of on top like so but the problem with that as I'm sure you'll notice from a distance is it just kind of leaves these little sticky out top bits here so I'm gonna make use of something that I don't really use all that often and that's carpets I don't know why I don't use carpet that often it is an amazing material that should really get used more often um, do I have any shears on me? This would make this a lot easier. There we go. There's some shears. I always have all the tools on me. I just very rarely have them in my bar. Um, right, okay. Now, I think this actually deserves a double layer. And then we go out like this. Um, and I'm going to get very confused if I do this. So if I just run around a little bit and pop down my points. Um, this one? Maybe, maybe not. What I want is equidistant um, from here. So possibly that one and then that one. And then hopefully just following in like this should give us the pattern we want. It looks pretty good so far. I think it's going well. Um, obviously I'm having to think, so my, my, my speeching isn't going too well. You can tell because I'm using words like speeching. Uh, but, yeah, all in all, this should be fine. Um, right, so over here, where do we want to go? We want to go a little bit more towards the inside here. So this, that one, something like this, and then it all should all mesh up, mesh up in the middle, like a real spider's web does. Oh, and I fell again. So I'm going to work on that and tweak these a little bit. And hopefully we'll come back with me being a little bit more uh, articulate about the whole situation. And having something quite nice to show. Uh, so, yeah. In the words of Skibbity, oh my giddy giddy god, guys. Look at how many fucking books I've got here. Um, so yeah, I've had a quite a, a productive weekend of making books. Um, when I say productive, I mean I've produced a lot. Not that I have got the books that I want. Uh, and to add salt upon that injury, uh, I've had um, Harley turn around to me um, yesterday and go, Oh, Twitchy, I've got a Silk Touch book. Uh, that, oh, well, that kind of sucks. Um, also, I've been working on uh, a new bow, Bob the Friendly Poker, who unfortunately I'm going to have to na change the name of because we've just had some bloke called Bob join, so I'm going to go Robert. Oh, I can't. Robert, there we go. Robert the Friendly Poker. Um, it's quite a powerful bow. I'm breaking three, flame one, power five. Um, and it even gets his full name. Awesome. I was a little bit worried that the name was going to be too long. Uh, what else has happened over the weekend? Well, I've bred a lot of sheep up. Um, technically violating one of the server rules, but... I, I'm not planning to keep them for too long, and in fact, keepers keep co uh, creepers keep coming along to try and enforce this rule on me, uh, which is kind of okay. Uh, I can deal with that. You know, th there was a lot of sheep there. I, at one point, I had 70, which was obviously too much because um, a stack of dye wouldn't wouldn't do the whole lot. Uh, over here, the cipher has been making lovely housing. Um, obviously, this is his house. Uh, Door combination lock on the front, which I don't know the combination to, so we're just going to carry on running. Uh, perhaps we'll have a quick dive in? Yeah, go on then. Uh, I really like this purple carpet and um, corner so far. I've expressed my, my love of this to him already. Uh, and down here we have little storage areas and stuff. Uh, I'm not going to show too much because obviously this isn't my place. Uh, this is uh, Deciphers, but yeah, there we go. Uh, th this is a nice little welcome addition. And now, at the pitch of night, I've got to try and make my run across the desert to show you what else I've been up to. Um, so, we left it with a black circle on the floor and some red glass in the sky. Uh, over the course of the weekend, I went, that is rubbish. Um, I, I really wasn't impressed at all with what I'd managed to do. Um, oh, I feel like I'm going to get hoarded out at some point um so i made this oh god there's baby zombies after me everywhere all right what i might do is drop down this hole and come back when it's daylight um so yeah all right so daytime's here and i'm climbing up the ladder and hopefully not too many of those zombies are still waiting for me though i should imagine the babies are, are still around no 
Oh, good, they despawned. That's one. So, yeah, this is, this is what I've done up here. I think it's quite nice. Uh, I increased the size of the circle quite a bit. I have done a massive amount of terraforming, and you can get out of here, Creeper. We won't be having any of your type around here. Um, sand. Oh, just, just so much sand. I, I've leveled off and I've taken down hills. Uh, if you, you compare this view to the view of when I first ran up to the hole, uh, yeah, it, it's massively different. Um, I really like what I've done with the, the web. Let's see if I can... Uh, grow a stack of these and go on up and show you. Uh, I mean, it looks pretty good just from this angle, but if we go all the way up like so, it, it's starting to look a bit more, bit more web-like. Um, I've also added some detailing into the spider's eyes. Uh, I did... Oh, I don't have my thing on me. There we go, let's just do that. Uh, right, I did have... Um, all of it being just like standard flat red, but that was no good. Um, uh, I've added some brown, believe it or not, which was the colour that it was missing. Um, it's just, yeah, I was looking for a dark red. That w I had pink, dark red, and then just something else had to go here to to, to fit with the uh, the spider skin. And th yeah, there we go. I think I did that quite well. Um, downstairs, we. You can see I've added some um, decoration around the outside. Literally, what you see here is what it is. Um, yeah, I. Nothing really more to say about that. I just it, this took days, but it's not particularly interesting. So there we go. Uh, and under here, I have half slabs with carpet on top to stop monsters spawning because I found out that works. Um, like up on top of the spider's head. Let me just uh, see if I can get a good view. Uh, I've put yeah, you see, I put a load of carpet, but bad guys can spawn on top of that because well, I thought it was transparent. Ow. That actually just fly back at me and have me. That's that's very strange. But anyway, yeah. Um, I was looking into the spawning algorithm, and it turns out that the spawning algorithm completely ignores carpets. It just goes on as if this wasn't a thing here at all. So if you put um, a half slab underneath it, it thinks the whole floor is half slabs, and therefore nothing can spawn on it. Whereas up there, it thinks it's the top half of a normal block, so things spawn up there. I will be getting to that at some point today. Um, what else have we got? So I've been making a little alcove back here to keep all the stuff. I did have all my stuff over here, but when I started like extending the decoration around, it just it, it didn't work. It just straight up didn't work. So uh, yeah, I've moved that. Um, down here we have a collector, crusher, killer thing. Um, all the features are in place for this like there's a hopper down below there's a fence here to help stack them up now this fence is really important because um, spiders cannot walk into the back of another spider's hitbox uh, it's just like them walking into a brick into a brick wall but if you drop a spider down on top of a stack they will bunch up like this um, I don't, I don't want to get too close because they can actually hit me through this gap but yeah so you yeah uh, and then the door is important to stop them hitting you when you hide down here to try and collect them up. Now, I have several problems with this, and this is why I'm going to uh, work through um, fixing it all today. Um, for starters, when I stand here as the collection point, I'm not triggering the spawner. You can see the spawner there. I literally, I'm like two blocks too far away, uh, and the spiders only need to go behind this line. Um, and to be honest, with how low down I've put them, I think I can probably... Uh, even have it closer still. So I think what I'll do is let me just pop, pop a hole in here so we can see. Oh, of course. What I think I'll do is you see where this set of stairs is that collects them. The water flows down, hits the set of stairs and the stairs push them sideways uh, as this spider is just going to very nicely demonstrate for us. There we go. Uh, I'm going to bring that forward possibly to this line uh, and then have the collection system so I can stand here, um, hopefully down two blocks or so, uh, and then, yeah, that should go over here. Uh, I, my other plan for today is to tunnel in the top and replace that um, iron bars with something solid, because as it turns out, that wasn't very good at stopping spiders spawn on top. Um, they're not going to show me now, just to be awkward. 
But yeah, I'm going to uh, collect my head together and then I'll come back with a video of me hopefully getting in there to put the uh, torches in because that's going to be video gold watching me die that many times. <laughs> Alright then. Alright guys, well it looks like that I've done so many interesting things this weekend that in fact I have completely run out of time to actually get in there and do the things that I said I was going to do. So I'm going to have to leave it here and pick up next week with getting into the spider spawner. That is definitely going to be how I start by tunneling into the top. Uh, but until that time, thank you very much for joining me for this uh, series of adventures. Um, please, if you've enjoyed the episode, let me know about it somehow. I prefer comments, but YouTube prefers you to like it. So, you know, do what you need to do. And, yeah, I will see you next time where I'm going to tango with these guys. Bye!